For local news now, community activist Breka Peoples appears in court today on a charge of electioneering stemming from her alleged actions back in 2020. A rally was held outside of the DeSoto Parish Courthouse showing support for her before the trial. NBC 6's Shirley Busico is there and shares more. We're here to fight behind Breka Peoples. Peoples was charged with electioneering, which is campaigning or influencing voters as they go to the polls. A hundred man march, dressed in suits. As we went across the street, marching to the polls, um, Amanda Rain, she ran out the, across the street and she stopped me. She said, Breka Peoples, you can't organize anything here. I didn't know who she was. She never stated who she was. And she told me to leave, I left. This was two years ago when 100 men marched to the Soto Parish Library to cast their votes on Saturday, October 17th. But according to court documents, peoples did not leave. We are fighting against voter suppression and voter intimidation. We have to rally behind this black woman who's been consistently going into her communities to fight and protect for our democracy. Community members rallied outside of DeSoto Parish Courthouse on Tuesday, showing support to the longtime community activists. This is embarrassing to me because this issue is not a true issue. It's something they want to do to intimidate folks so that you won't go out to vote. That it's just coincidental that today it's early voting starts early voting here in our in our parish, and we have to sit here in a court system that's uh, about to deliver, we hope not, injustice. They try to strip my, they try to strip my constitutional rights. They know early voting. I get out of, out, throughout the state of Louisiana, we get the people out to vote. They know what they're doing, but they ain't doing anything because we still rally into the polls. We have stuff going all across Louisiana right. for black voters matter. And just know we coming and victory going to be ours. Victory. Shirley no Busico, NBC6 News. All right, Shirley, thanks. And people says her court of hearing has been postponed until December the 8th. She is currently facing up to six months in jail if convicted. And we also reached out to the DeSoto Parish District Attorney's Office. They had no comment.